What are the common causes of memory leaks in embedded systems? The first cause is allocated memory not freed, which means using malloc without calling free. The second cause involves pointers that are overwritten or go out of scope, leading to lost references and inaccessible memory. The third cause is repeated allocation without freeing old memory, which can quickly lead to exhaustion of available memory resources. The fourth cause relates to not freeing memory inside structures, which can result in significant memory waste. The fifth cause is mismatched malloc free and new delete operations, which can lead to memory not being released properly. The sixth cause involves leaks in recursive calls or loops, where memory is continuously allocated without being freed after each iteration. The seventh cause pertains to missing free calls in error paths leading to unfreed memory during unforeseen failures. The eighth cause is memory fragmentation that occurs over time, resulting in inefficient use of memory resources. The ninth cause involves leaks from third-party libraries which can introduce unforeseen memory management issues.